Hey guys, so I have a quick demonstration of a car AI I was trying to write for uh, a small game I put together. And if I show you here, this was the first version. Click play. You can see that I've got trigger zones. So every time a car reaches a junction, it will pick a random, what, well, choose a random direction that it wants to take, whether it's straight on or a turn. And the first version I wrote, it would then add a certain amount of degrees to its driving, so 90 minus 90 to turn left and right, and then it will carry on. Now initially that was great, but then it started to have bugs. The biggest bug was if I had a corner, you know, if I had a corner that wasn't 90 degrees, it would then have to trigger the car to turn left or right at a different angle. And if the car hit, like missed a trigger zone, it would just completely mess it up. So I changed it to version two, which is this one. And you can't see the trigger zones, but what happens now is when it hits a trigger zone, it doesn't add a random direction to the car. It tells the car which is the next trigger zone that it needs to go towards. So then it, can, it knows that its final destination is going to be another trigger. Um, and there will be, you know, every car will stay on its course. Let me see if I can. So in the game, I um, I don't know if I'll ever finish that game because it was all right. It was a bit too ambitious, though. You can see that this was me testing it on a grid, 90 degrees to get everything working. Um, actually, I can show you if I open up my version 2. So I thought, OK, now that I had my... Uh, car AI working on a simple grid let me try it on the actual road layout of the city and here you can see I've got my trigger points here now this won't be 100% perfect because I didn't tweak it to be perfect but I made it far enough along that I know that it was possible to do so now um, I might as well just use this view no biggie click play Whoa. So yeah, there are a few bugs where um, the cars go towards the wrong trigger zones. And I mean, that can be fixed. It seems to just be between these two points here. Um, but for the most part, this is a pretty good, you know, version one to a car system. Once again, with a lot of systems, it's also really cool to just watch and, you know, imagine a busy city going on. And I really like how this roundabout mechanic has worked as well. It came out better than I expected. That is my first, first, second pass at a car AI system. Busy traffic.